Since most of us aren't doing very much traveling right now, a lot of us are doing just like short weekend trips. I wanted to show you how I packed my makeup bag just for like a weekend getaway. Believe it or not, I really am quite a light packer and it's mostly just because I hate unpacking. I don't know why, it's just like the worst chore to me. So I really do just try to keep my suitcase to the bare bones when it comes to makeup and outfits and toiletries. So I try to include items that have more than one use. This is just a really small makeup bag. I'm only taking one brush and I've got more than I need for a weekend getaway. Once we get to start traveling more, I want to show you how I'd pack my makeup kits for like traveling to a hot place or traveling to a cool place and just how I would kind of like tweak the items in my makeup bag. But for now, we're doing weekend trips, so I'm showing you my weekend bag. I'm Karina, if you're new, welcome to my channel. My content is mostly focused on natural, classy, and wearable makeup looks. So if you're into that style of makeup, then I think you'll really like my content. Let's get right into it. If you're anything like me and you have more than one item in one category, like you have three foundations instead of one, then the key is just to pick the smallest and like slimmest packaging. For example, I've got this foundation, it's the Hint Hint Skin Tint, and I love this foundation, but it's really heavy and it's kind of in like a bulky bottle. So instead for my foundation, I chose to bring this Giorgio Armani, the Neo Nude. It's just a lightweight formula, really fresh looking, but the packaging is just really slim and easy to fit into a small bag. And then next Next for concealer, again, I instead of choosing something like this, like the Born This Way concealer, which I love, I'm just going to take a slim tube. So this is the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. So it'll be good for anything I'm doing, so that goes into the bag too. I'm also going to bring a powder because it does fit really well in here. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airless, or sorry, Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is a very sleek and slim packaging as well, which is perfect for something like this. This is also a very lightweight powder, so it's meant just for setting, which is really all I need. For my blush, I did choose a bit of a palette. This is the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo Matte Plus Shimmer. This is in the shade Warm Honey, and again, it's like a really small thin compact, nothing bulky um, or heavy. And the reason I like this blush is because we've got one matte shade and one shimmer shade. So I'm not gonna bring a highlight because if I use this shimmery side, it'll just give me that glow, as much glow as I really need. So I'm not gonna pack a highlight. This kind of serves as that dual purpose. And then I have my blush in here. And this is kind of like a rusty rose. Like it's a pink, but it has a bit of brown in it. And so this will also dual duo as my eyeshadow. So I'm not gonna bring any eyeshadow at all, but if you wanna warm up your lids, just use your blush palette and it'll look really pretty. So that goes in the bag as well. And then you can just bring a tiny, thin little eyebrow pencil because they take up no room but I'm not even gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna bring my Glossier Boy Brow, and that's just a brow gel. It has like the tiny little wand on the end, so it's just quick. I can just brush that through my brow hairs, and that's all I have to do. And it's just a tiny little packaging as well, so that goes in too. And because it's so small, I am gonna bring a brown eyeliner. So if I do want to play up my eyes a little bit, I can play with the blush and I can also just use a liner instead of having to worry about bringing an eyeshadow palette. And this is the High Pigment Longwear Liner in Mambo by NARS. And it's just kind of like a really rich chocolatey brown. It almost has like a little bit of a purple to it. So it's not just like a flat kind of boring brown, but it's really rich looking and great for defining your eyes. And then of course, any mascara you want. That goes in too. For the lip product, I want it to be fuss free and low maintenance. So something that's not like too thick or too much. It's kind of more like a gloss formula, which is great because I also want it to be really hydrating. This product is perfect because it's really slim and is will easily fit in that bag. And this is the gel color by Nude Sticks in the color Lux. And it's also a lip and cheek balm. So if I do want to do a little bit of a different style cheek, then I can use this for my cheek as well. It's just like a really pretty cute kind of nude nudie pink. And then the last thing I'm going to fit into here is just bringing one brush. This is the MAC 188. It's the longer duo fiber brush. And this is perfect because it's small. It'll fit into the bag. I can do my powder with it. I can also do my blush with it. And then I'll also just use this for my eyeshadow too. So I would just dip this into my blush and just kind of run over my lids and my brow bone. Nothing precise, just to add a little bit of color into the lid. So this is a perfect brush for that because it just has a lot of different uses. So that's the last thing I'm bringing and they all fit really nicely into the bag. 
and that's it. So this is just like a tiny little thing. It won't take up too much space in my suitcase. It's fuss free. I can do most of it with my fingers or my hands and then just use that one brush for multiple items. It's really low maintenance and the products will look good with any outfit that you choose to wear. So when you're packing, it's all about just making your life easier. That's what I try to do. And even though I have a lot of makeup, I really just try to bring as little as I can. Now, I didn't pack any bronzer because it doesn't really fit in here. If I was just going away to my family's house or something for the weekend, I wouldn't really think about bringing one. But if I was going somewhere where I knew I was going to go out for a dinner or go out and socialize, then I'd probably just put a little bit of like fake tan on the night before we were leaving. So my skin, I have it on right now and my skin just has a little bit more like glow and life to it. So I don't feel like I need the bronzer. Just a cute little blusher will be perfect. So that kind of eliminates um, the need to bring an extra product. But that's just something I do. Let me know if you like this style of video. My last makeup bag video did really well and I haven't really filmed one since. I think they're just really fun to do. And like I said, I'd like to film more for like specific types of trips. Thanks so much for watching my video and definitely subscribe if you're into this kind of content. I'll see you in my next one.